What's going on ladies and gentlemen, the server is about to restart and they're going to add the new Glacial Berserker class to the game. Let's test out the class in this video. Let's get into it. Uh. One minute. Okay, we are 40 seconds away from restart. How are you guys doing today? Uh, member only Glacial Berserker new class test. The members log into any server and test the Glacial Berserker class and tell you what. If, tell us what you think. Ah, can't wait. Can't wait. Oh, I'm so happy they're doing this. It's made my day, honestly. All right, so the server's gonna restart. I'll be back once they're restarted. All right, we're on the server. All right, so okay, should be in shops. New class test. All right, Glacial Berserker test rank one. Oh, do I have to rank it up? Uh, this is the test version of the Glacial Berserker class. You can try it out. Uh, you can try it in advance and let us know your thoughts on the skills. Once the class is ready to go live, these skills will change to the default warrior class. What? So is this class going to be rare? The Glacial Berserker test? Is that going to be a rare class? And it'll have the warrior skills, so oh, that'd be a cool collector's item. All right, so I think we're gonna have—I think we're gonna have to rank it up, honestly. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to rank it up. Let's equip it. Ooh, okay, but we can look at the skills. All right, let's look at the skills. Go to my house. Ho ho ho. All right. So we have ancestral rage. Um, building rage within applies a stack of ancestral rage stacks and are activated only when using shout of ancients. Each stack increases haste by 50% for eight seconds. If not restacked, stacks five times. Also imbues you with the curse. What? It went away. Ah! With the curse of time, ancestors reduce hit chance by 5% for four seconds. All right, so increase your haste and reduces hit chance. Your hands freeze over the covered and glacial sized ice, uh, increasing your crit chance by 10%, stacking up to 30%. Ooh, that's pretty good. Causes your enemy's movement to slow, reducing their haste. Okay, I was gonna be like, does it actually slow down the in game character? That would be pretty cool, but no. Just reduces their haste, stacks up to 30%. Oh, okay, so you can reduce haste and you can get steam messages. I don't know if you can tell, but this video is very impromptu. <laughs> okay, so that one increased crit chance and haste. Very interesting. You're screaming the force of millions. Um, do do do. Ancestors they overwhelmed and are forced to attack for six seconds. I don't. I don't get what this does. Increasing the haste based on the stacks. So increases your haste based on stacks. If your opponent has been chilled by your ancestors, then they are overwhelmed and are forced to attack you for six seconds. I does that like waste your enemy's mana? Is that what that does? I don't I don't get what that's for. What that skill is for. Uh, I guess we'll have to use it to figure it out. Deals moderate damage and heals 800% damage over time. What? That sounds like a full heal every time if you're healing 800% of the damage dealt. That's like a full heal. Well, it depends on what the damage of the skill will do. But for 30 mana, a full heal, that's pretty decent. Well, I'm assuming it's a full heal. I guess it depends on the damage, of course. While preventing Curse of Ancestors from applying for 6 seconds. Okay. There's another thing there. Uh, reducing all damage done by 60% for 6 seconds. I wish I wouldn't do like the long description of all that uh, stuff and just say like, oh, this does that. Like, you have to like kind of read through and pick through these uh, descriptions. Your crit damage and endurance are increased by 50% for 10 seconds. If your foe is numb, it will become frozen in shock. Stun for 10... A 10 second stun? Holy crap. Okay, so it's a 10 second stun on this class. I'm gonna start ranking up guys and I'll be back once I get to rank 5. We don't know if there's rank 10 passive so I'm not gonna bother rank 10. 
but I'll be in rank 5 soon. I'll be right back. Oh yeah, and uh, here's the armor in-game, by the way, in case you want to know what the armor in-game looks like for size or whatever. Uh, here I am, walking around in-game with it on. Pretty dope looking. Okay, right before I start went to go rank up the class, I looked on Twitter and Elena tweeted out that the skill set is up on Zynos. So we do have a rank 10 passive. It is Berserker's Hatred, increasing crit chance and crit damage by 10%, which is... Okay, so this is going to be a critical dodge uh, class, which I really like those kind of classes, and uh, I'm, I'm probably going to really like this class, so let's start ranking it up. Okay, here is my first time using the class. Hope you guys, hopefully you guys like this video. I know it's a little like unprofessional and kind of like impromptu, but I thought it'd be a very cool video to do on the class with my first impressions of it. Alright, so this area is very weird for these monsters. Ooh, a thousand. Alright, so I had my finger in the wrong place too. I was hitting three instead of two. Okay, so my skills aren't really hitting. Ooh, that animation! Wow, that looks like it's going to be a laggy animation. So we're doing 1400. I don't even have an... I should probably enhance the class. I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, I put luck on the class. And uh, I think the rest of my stuff is wizard right now. So probably not the best enhancements. I'll figure those out once I get to rank... Uh, Rank 5. Oh, 6. Okay, so adding luck on there did a lot more damage. Because I don't increase our crit damage. Or does luck increase your crit damage? I don't think it does. Yeah, but we're doing consistently more damage now. Which is a good thing from our 2 skill. And it looks like... Yeah, it looks like this class is doing very, very well so far. Alright, I'll be back once I get to rank 5. And uh, we'll take a look at all the skills and stuff. And I'll do a little pseudo class guy sort of thing. Uh, with what I learned from the short amount of time I'll use this class. Okay, I just went super hard farming. I put my boost on. I got my cape of awe. I got this to rank 5 in a few minutes. Like, it took me like 10, 11 minutes to get this to rank 5. So, got it to rank 5 really fast. And I'm actually really enjoying the class. Now, the rank 10 passive, of course, would add 10% to the crit damage and increase my crit chance by 10%. So, it would increase the class's uh, damage and make the crits more happen more often so keep that in mind when you're watching this happen right now I'm not gonna get the full rank 10 just for this video but I will get the full rank 10 uh, before I do a, a like an actual class guide sort of video on it um, but just this is just a uh, first look at the class this is in no way a class guide I'm not showing you how to use the class or anything like that in this video that's not it I I don't even have the proper enhancements on this class right now because I'm just quickly going through and trying to get the class uh, try to get the class up ranked up to show you guys how it works so here I'm pirates uh, I always use pirates because pirates is just like what everyone knows like everyone knows that what kind of damage you can do to pirates and stuff like that so I'm gonna enhance all my gear to luck because uh, it's a very crit based class so I'm gonna go full luck and we're gonna try it out okay so I'm using full stable which is unarmed at the moment and I will also use unstable just to see how high it can hit so we're just gonna try this on normal pirates, 3000, level 40. So normal stuff there. All right, well there's people up here. Um, well, not really people, but you know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about. So there's the animation, one of the animations. There's the heal. Oh, this class. So we're not doing. It seems like I don't. I really like this class a lot, it, but it does seem like a. I don't know, this seems like, I'm used to dot classes, I guess is what I'm trying to say <laughs> right right now. I'm used to dot classes and it's kind of weird not seeing like the consistent damage on the screen. Like with a dot class, you, you're always seeing damage going on the screen. And it's kind of, it's a weird feeling not seeing that, but you are still doing a lot of damage with this class. Of course, I'm not stacking or anything right here, which I probably should be. But, uh, oh, that animation, that's a, that's a brand new animation, I think. That looks insane. It lasts a little bit too long, I think, though. But it does look very cool. So here's how the class performs basically is what I'm, what I'm trying to say here. So let's try it against a boss here. Dodge chance is pretty high on the class. Especially if you stack your uh, 2 skill up. Which I'm guessing most people will do. Alright so let's go uh, and fight Captain Beard here. So we can stack our first skill. Now the healer of time is probably my favorite part of this class. Because it based off damage, so we did 900 it times that by 800%. That's how much it's going to heal us for. So 
So we're getting 333, which I think is the max a heal over time can do to a character in Adventure Quest Worlds. And then it will heal us back to full pretty quickly. Oh, 2000 there. All right, let's pull him a little bit so we can see the numbers better. The animation did not move when he was pulled. So yeah, that uh, that whirlwind animation, if anyone from RX Entertainment is watching, uh, lasts a little bit too long. I might tone it down by a few seconds, a second or two less on that animation, just to help with lag a little bit, you know? Because if you had a full room of people using that animation, I, that would get pretty laggy pretty fast. So this is full luck on this class. I think that it, that's probably not the best thing to do is full luck. There's probably a better, ooh, a 3k. There's probably a better combo, but this is a very good dodge, uh, just dodge class, basically. It's the dodge critical class. All right, so let's change up the enhancements a little bit. Let's see if we can find something different, something that might work a little bit better. Okay, so I'm looking at the stats here. These are very weird stats. Um, so we have 70 luck, uh, 30 wisdom, which that's okay. 140 decks, so not max decks, because I think 100, well, maybe 149 is max. 149 strength, so you, you get strength and decks. So you probably want to use like luck and fighter. So let's put a few fighter on here and uh, let's try it out. Okay, so I put fighter on the class and the cape. So let's see what that does. Let's pull over here. So we're using half luck, half fighter, full stable. We're doing less than, yeah, it looks like we're doing less, less damage now. Or what, that might have been a little bit more there, 1800. Okay, so 18, 233. It's about the same, honestly. It's not gonna make a big difference, that small amount of damage change. So I'm just spamming out skills, basically. Uh, not really using the class properly at all, that's not what this video is about. Hmm. All right, I think I like, oh, 233. That's pretty good. All right, I think fighter is better, honestly. But I would go with like, let's go, let's try one fighter, three luck. That's probably the best. Now with the weird uh, stats that this class have, you might want to use hybrid just to give us a, like a slight increase to everything. But uh, fighter luck is probably going to be a good way to go. Maybe a wizard enhancement would be okay because it does have a bit of intellect. But uh, I can't see that helping that much. Actually, it might be the way. I don't know. We'll have to figure out uh, what kind of uh, enhancements. We'll have to test out all the enhancements to see which ones are actually going to be the best here. Uh, but this is just the first look of the class. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like down below. Tell me what you think about the class in the comments if you've tried it. Uh, if you're a member, you can get it right now in the shop right there. Try it out. I'm, I really like the class. I mean, I I think it needs some changes. Uh, there's some that just feels a little off about it. I can't tell you what because I don't know. I'm not class designer or anything. But just something that feels a little bit off. I love the heal on it. Please don't change that. It's great. I love the heal. Uh, other than that, it's a great class from what I've used of it so far for the few minutes I've used it. And uh, thank you guys for watching again. Uh, peace out. Have a great day. See you in the next one.